fans may note her recent absence in film and television. The equestrian world may miss her elegant presence on the field, but they really don't mind. They all know that Mikey's priorities have been altered by a worthy cause, motherhood. The bedimpled crush ng bayan, the dedicated athlete, television's lovable sweetheart, the blushing young bride, the devoted wife, the doting mother. Mikey's colorful life is like a fairy tale, but like any fairy tale, some chapters aren't all that blissful. Last year, when Dodot ran in the local elections, the family encountered one of the most trying moments of their lives. Mikey, uh, sometime last year, was it last year, where there was an unfortunate incident that happened to your husband? Mm -hmm. um, actually, lahat kami nagulat because uh, diba, parang may bomba sa kotse niya na sumabog. Mm -hmm. My initial reaction to that was parang ano kayang naramdaman ni Mikey? As a woman, diba? Parang kung meron mangyari sa, sa asawa ko, I'll, I'll probably die. What did you feel and what happened? Where were you? What were your thoughts? Request you after the Asian Games. Nag-green yung telepono ko at hinal-hinal siya. Sabi niya, look, I'm sorry to bother you. Siya pa'y nagsupo. Sorry to bother you, but... But uh, I just want you to know, my car blew up. What? Now, since uh, you were in Qatar, did you want to come back? I, of course, I wanted to come back. Kaya lang, I was already on the next flight, which was the next day pa. So parang wala akong magawa. I felt so helpless. Well, definitely, uh, it, it was an experience that parang was, hindi lang kalabit sa akin. Parang bato, yung ganon. And it made me realize a lot of things. Uh, although I, hindi ko, although it was it was really a terrible experience. Instead of weakening us, lalo pang tumatag yung pagsasama namin, yung pagmamahal namin. The experience reminded Mikey that more than a couple, they are public figures who play important roles in society. I haven't really stopped uh, trying to help out. Uh, even even in a less involved way because I still have my my advocacies that I'm doing. I'm still the spokesperson of the Southeast Asian Foundation for Children and Television. I'm a director of the Equestrian Association of the Philippines. I'm a volunteer for Gawad Kalinga. You were an icon to the youth and uh, you're very active in SK and a lot of people expected you to somewhat make contra make or contribute political change. Do you have any comments on this? Well, when my parents were the ones who were very active in government, I felt that eventually it would be my turn. And I was very satisfied na nakakatulong ako sa kanila. Pero wala naman akong posisyon. Nakakatulong pa rin ako sa kanila. Dahil sila may posisyon. And through the years, I realized na para maging mabuting Pilipino, hindi naman kailangan na may kapangyarihan ka or that you're in a government position. As I was talking to Mikey, one thing was quite clear in my mind. The interview would never be complete without my touching on the intertwining coincidences in our life. Since we're in, the, in a good good uh, position in our lives mm -hmm. right now. Let's talk about the past. Kinakabahan ka! Kinakabahan ka! But um, uh, we all know that Aga and you were, were good friends before, di ba? But how different is your was your love when you were younger compared to now? Wow! Parang hindi na naman, hindi pa ako compare, di ba? Parang layo yan. Well, gosh, can't even compare it. I think even just yung kinwento ko about Aga telling me mm. na, oh, asan, yung, asan dun yung magkakaasawa ka? At ang sagot ko, wala nga akong boyfriend, asawa pang iisipin ko. I mean, it's, it's such a world of difference. Like you said, there's so much more maturity in it. And like you also mentioned, it's the age. Diba? Kasi if you meet someone and you're a teenager, Parang, ang dami pa, na, uh, parang ibang-iba pa yung naisip mo. And, you know, I have, I know some people 
na high school pa lang or college, sila na nung boyfriend or girlfriend nila, and then that relationship continues on for the rest of their lives. I know a lot of people like that, and I can't, I can't imagine how, how it is. Kasi yung contrast lang nung yung pag-iisip mo at at a younger age and when you're older, it's so different. You know, like Dodat and I, we both went to San Agustin grade school. We were both in Ateneo in college, but we never met. When I look at my wife and the things that she has done, the fields that she has entered, um, she's definitely one of the Filipinas that are worth emulating. Looking at Mikey now, I'm seeing a complete woman. We should recognize na meron tayong taglay na lakas inside each and every one of us. And yet, we have such grace. Diba? I, parang Filipina women are parang lahat ng yung beauty nandun, yung matatag. Matatag, diba? Yung lakas ng pagkatao nandun. And I think that that we have to recognize this. And, and, and I know the times now are nag-iiba na rin, eh, diba? Um, we can show our strength but still be soft at the same time. And that's such a great blessing. Sinasabi ng marami na ang lalaki ang talagang, <laughs> di ba, the stronger sex. But I beg to disagree. I beg to disagree. I think it's the women, uh -oh. di ba? <laughs> Oo, talaga, syempre, no? And for her, there is only one woman she looks up to. Oh, definitely, bias man, <laughs> my mom. Definitely my mom. I have so many things uh, that I'm so grateful for. Uh, sa kanya ko natutunan, natutunan yung pagmamahal, sa kanya ko natutunan yung pagsisikap. Uh, a lot of people look at her and see her physical beauty, which talaga naman, <laughs> di ba? Sige na, pakita na yung ano, proud sa nanay, di ba? Which of course is striking, but, but you know, if you look deeper into her, there's so much more to her than that. And I would really, really love for people to know and see that. With her beauty, character, and achievements in tow, Mikey is definitely one Filipina to be proud of.